Okay, this is how you do a screen recording on a Mac uh, and then post it to YouTube. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get to QuickTime Player. So you can go do a search right here and you can type in QuickTime Player and then you can just double click on that. All right, you can also move it down into your dock right here. And then you click on that and then you go up to File and you do New Screen Recording. Obviously, I can't do a new screen recording because uh, I'm doing one right now. But if you clicked on new screen recording, what will happen is it'll pop up, a little box will pop up, and it'll ask you to click um, on the red button, and then it'll start your screen recording. Let's see if we can do a new audio recording, and it'll let us do that. So yeah, so it'll pop up with this, that they'll say new screen recording. And you click on this, uh, and then another box will pop up uh, here, and it will say, uh, let's see if we can do a new, let's see, cancel. Let's see if we can do a new movie recording. Oh, a new movie recording actually gets you to see me. So you can click on that. And now that's starting. So you can do a new movie recording. Hi, how you guys doing? Uh, and then when you quit QuickTime Player, It'll say, you know, delete and quit and all those things. You can navigate those things. You can also just close it here. So I can just title this Nico. And you can save that. And then that screen recording will be down there. All right. So I'm still recording uh, my screen recording. So you click on that and you navigate that. It'll actually give you an option if you want to only do part of the screen. It'll give you an option to like draw a box around. I always just click on the thing and just do the whole screen. Okay, so after you do your screen recording, what will happen is you'll uh, close it, or I actually like to go to Quick QuickTime Player, and then in that same box will come up where it says, you know, to name it, and then you name it, okay? Then the next thing you do is you want to go to um, your YouTube channel. So you're going to need to create a YouTube channel. Um, I just did it with my uh, Miko Yokola at Brickley.net account. And then what will happen, let's see here, maybe we'll, I'll show you how you log in. So, so you go here and just type in YouTube. And I'll take you to this screen and then you just click on your icon here and you go to YouTube Studio or your channel either way, but I'm going to go to YouTube Studio. And then the key here is it's going to ask you to create right there. So, uh, and you can also go to your videos here, and that'll take you to this uh, screen here. But you don't have to go to this first. You can do it straight from your dashboard. So you'll go create, and you'll click upload video, and then you'll go select file, and here we'll just upload Miko. So I double click that. And then it'll be here, and you can uh, put your title here, and then you can do a little description. Um, so it's a screen, so it's a video recording of Nico. And then, as you can see right here, it's uploading here, and then you'll click Next. Uh, and then, you don't need to worry about that, you can click Next. Uh, and then here you have your choices. You can either do it public so everybody can see it, or you can do it unlisted, uh, so, you, so only people who have the link can see it. Um, I'm not worried so much, so I just do public. All right, so the video is uploading, um, and you can close this, and then you can just kind of wait for it in your video section. You can see right here that it says pending. And so if you wait like five minutes or so, it'll eventually be up, okay? Um, let's see. And then after it's uploaded, you can click on it. And then when you want to email it to someone, you just uh, copy the email address and back. Let's see if there's anything else with regard to... Um, oh, here. Now you see me and my wife in Yosemite. Uh, let me see if there's anything else here with regard to QuickTime that I can explain that might be valuable. So, no, I think that's it.
So let's go back and let's see if it's, so it's 95% processed. Okay, now it says upload complete. We need it to finish processing as well. Um, in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how you can get use your phone uh, to take videos. Like let's say you wanted to um, write on a piece of paper and you wanted to film that. Um, or you wanted to film yourself, uh, so it's slightly higher quality. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, another thing that I've done on my YouTube channel is when it asked me whether it was made for kids, I said yes. And so when it's made for kids, it just makes it so that people can't do comments and so on and so forth. Okay, so it looks like it's uploaded. So now you can click on this. And you can see the video link right here. So I can highlight that. And I can do Command C. And I can go back into this and I can compose. And I can send it to anybody I want. So I'm going to send it to Martha Hoppy. Uh, video of Miko. This is for the tutorial. And then you can say video of Miko. And then you can just highlight that. Go down here to insert link. You can do command V. You click on that. And then you can send that. And if you want to make sure it goes to the right place, you can always just click on it and see if it goes to the right place. Starting. So you can do a new movie recording. There you are. Hi. How you guys doing? Okay. Uh, and then when you so quit... I don't need that anymore. So now I can just click send and Martha's going to get that. And off we go. All right, when you're all done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to QuickTime Player, and you're gonna go on a QuickTime Player, and you're just gonna, let's see here. I always just quit QuickTime Player, and then a box will come up to save it, and I save it to my desktop. So as you can see, like, I have this on my desktop. I have a tutorial on turning off Google uh, notifications. Um, and then you just hit QuickTime Player, and it'll ask you to save it. And then what you do is you go post it to YouTube. So I'm gonna quit QuickTime Player. See you later.